Hello everyone, Was 21 here and welcome to another video. Today is something a little bit different to my normal stuff. Um, right down below now you should see a YouTube uh, pop-up subscribe button popping up. And today I'm going to show you how to create that. If all goes well, uh, you would have just seen uh, the one I'm about to create now. And I'll show you after the intro how I did it. So if all went well then, um, just before the intro, you would have seen the uh, subscribe button that I created. Now I use in, I am using OBS Studio, um, and as you can see here, it's uh, downloadable by Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, so it can install on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, obviously. And the web address is obsproject.com. Uh, there's plenty of YouTube guides on how to install app. If you want to know how, just let me know. Um, so as you see, I was just testing there. Um, as you can see, I'm uh, logged in with an old YouTube channel of mine. Um, still got a couple of videos and a couple of subscribers on here, but anyway. Um, before I uh, did this, you can see I put added a little dot on this video and uh, space the uh, load of this down and it'll uh, become and uh, you'll realize why i did that now in a second so i'm slurring my words here so obs is open um and i've already created a chrome zoomed in uh, to create a new one you just literally click the plus icon it'll come up here you can rename it whatever you want so youtube project for example there we go and then, so that's how you create new scenes. So you can switch between a couple. As you can see here, it's cut my screen. So we'll go to YouTube project since we just created it. And over here in sources is where we actually add the sources. So we click um, add a new one here and we want a display capture. So if you click display capture, you can rename it whatever you want. Uh, make sure you select in the right capture, which it is here, you can switch displays here if you want to you can see there I had um, <laughs> basically I was searching to see if this title how to create a YouTube pop-up subscribe button was actually any good so you just seen that then and that's the name of this title uh, you click OK there and there we are we are now on the describe capture at the very top left here you'll see capture um, which I've just done taking a little tiny screenshot of this area here using a snippet. You can use screenshot, you can use snippet. Just take a little snippet of this and you'll understand why now in a second. So what we want to do is we want to make, we just want to capture this area here. To do that, right click, we want to go down to filters and then we want to add a new filter. So click the plus icon here, go down to crop slash pad you can rename it whatever you want. I personally don't see a point in doing it. And here we go. This is if you have different types of stuff, um, it's all in one there. So now we're gonna narrow these numbers down. You can narrow them down however you want, work them out for you once, so 500 does that. So we're basically trying to get this little area here. I've already done this beforehand, uh, so I know roughly. So for me, it is these numbers. I've got a 1440p monitor. So that's why mine is all different. Um, so there we are, that's the area there. You can see the little dot, the subscribe button and everything. Um, obviously change these numbers accordingly to you. Um, you can change them whatever you like to get it down to that. But being in mind these numbers change all sorts of how you zoom in and everything. Um, you know what, anywhere around there is quite nice actually. I'm gonna try. That looks a bit better there for me. So my number in was quite slightly off. So hit close and you see at the top left there. Uh, right now that is way too small as you can see because we want this big area. So what you want to do is you want to right click and you want to resize output source and click yes. Now that's basically going to make OBS uh, only uh, record this area. If I go to settings and I hit video you can see now it's basically recording 470 by uh, 110 instead of 1080p. So that's the area it's recording. And now you can see that little dot right below quite clearly. 
So that's why I made this capture one. So if I hit the plus icon and go image, uh, you could rename it whatever you want, hit browse, and then that's my one, whatever you've uh, called it. There's my numbers for that I was just telling you about, uh, pre-saved. Now I'm gonna drag that, so hit okay, get rid of that. So you can drag this box, so you cover whatever. So I'm literally just gonna cover that tiny little dot so literally all we need to cover, you can resize it, whatever, and there, boom, it's gone. But it's still there, but OBS won't see it. If I highlight that, you can see the mouse disappears, but we don't care about that. Now, all we want to do now is we want to start recording this. So at the, uh, right here, you see start recording. Uh, first of all, if you go to settings and uh, output, under recording, you want to make sure that it's uh, set correctly. So you've got high quality, lossless. Um, so what I like to set mine to is MP4. So um, default is this, it's high quality. Um, basically, the higher the quality, the better. But MP4, I know my, um, my software will actually do this. I'm recording this in Camtasia. I know Camtasia will do it, but I also use DaVinci Resolve, which we will be having a look at a bit later on. So click apply, click OK. That's our set. So now we want to hit start recording. All you have to do now when it starts recording, you can see there bottom right, is slowly lift your mouse up, click subscribe, go across, click the bell icon. Now this is why we made it a bit bigger. So then you can see the all, click all, and then remove the mouse. And that's all you have to do. Click stop recording, and there we go. We now have that saved um, on a file, and happy days, all done. And you can just hit unsubscribe then uh, on your channel, so you don't get demonetized by YouTube or any of that lot. Now I'm gonna show you how to add this into uh, your, uh, in my case, DaVinci Resolve. Right, I'm gonna try this once more, one more time. I've actually tried this a couple of times to show you and failed. But in DaVinci Resolve 17, uh, I'm using you, there's an update which I need to do. Um, we have to hit new project. If you wanna see this in some other um, softwares, please let me know and I'll have a look at it and potentially do another video. But I'm gonna call this YouTube subscribe button because I do intend to actually use this. So we're gonna hit create. It'll open up DaVinci Resolve here. On the top left, just hit File, Import, and Media. Inside here, we want the um, the file that we created in OBS, which is right by here. So we're gonna hit Open, and it's gonna ask me to change frame rate, which we don't want to do. We just wanna hit um, No Thank You, or Don't Change, and here we are. Here it is at the top left. We'll drag this onto our timeline. For some reason, DaVinci Resolve likes to do this. It, I, I never, I never understood it. Uh, so one is literally where it starts. So I'm gonna go down to the Edit tab by here, and here we are. We're in the Edit tab, and already you can see it's zoomed in way too much. So what I'm gonna do is first things first. We don't need this uh, audio, so. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just go drag us to the side. For some reason, I need to do this all the time. I'm going to rip or cut that out. So there we are, no audio. So the first thing is I'm going to reposition this. Click on it on the top right hand side under Inspector tab, the top right here. You'll see under video, we've got Transform and Zoom. It's basically zoomed all the way in right now. So we want to resize this to roughly where we want it which is about there, but we also want it on the bottom, so the Y position, we're gonna drag that all the way down to about there. So that's about right there, so there we go. And I'm also gonna clip this, so the mouse comes in there, so the mouse comes in about four seconds in. So I'm gonna trim it about three seconds and a bit in, trim that, and this front bit we literally don't need, so I'm just gonna delete it. And the same at the end, so the mouse disappears about there. Let's get another little bit, and I'm just going to trim the end off there. You can do this if you want to, it's up to you, but uh, it makes sense now. And 
under the effects library at the top right it's already open here so normally you'll probably be in a screen uh, something similar but you want to click the effects library make sure this is open and I'm literally just going to search so I'm going to type in slide it'll bring up a load of effects here and if you look at them it'll sort of give you some examples of what they do up down left right so what I want to do is I want to slide this up at the start so if I highlight that you can just see it's highlighted there and what this would do it will slide up as you can see there but it also does this weird thing at the top here which we don't want so I'm going to click on that slide make sure the orange box is around that on the top right hand side here you see um, under transition you see effects and controls I'm going to turn this to custom it'll bring this uh, straight line up bring this uh, left box all the way up roughly halfway and that will stop it coming up from the bottom and then it basically it tells it oh I want to cut in halfway across boom there we go so if I hit play boom there we go that becomes fat I'm going to make that slightly a bit longer so in up and there we go click bell icon hit all and then mouse off the screen so I'm going to hit stop right as the mouse goes off the screen and over the right there I want slide and uh, down on the right so if I click there it's just before that so that's perfectly fine but what will happen here is it will slide down and then like before it comes at the top so make sure that's selected and we're going to do the same thing custom but this time we're going to go on the right hand side and bring it down about halfway again so now when we hit play it'll slide down and there we go nothing at the top and that is basically all we want I'm going to highlight everything so all three so the transition the clip and the end one end transition new compound clip and we're just going to call this YouTube subscribe button um, so that's just basically going to make a compound and it all this so it's all in one clip now if you click effects just make sure it's all done correctly you can see the background is clear hit play and that becomes hit subscribe and down it goes you get the idea now all I gotta do is hit deliver and it'll bring this up uh, basically we need to title it so YouTube subscribe button and this is the important bits down here we want to change we want to keep quick time for some reason I've got to keep it on quick time rather than changing it to all the others but we're going to change codec from H.264 to DNX HR HR is high resolution I'm not 100% sure what DNX is uh, HD doesn't work for this um, but if I click HD if I click HR actually we're looking for this export alpha which basically means this black will be see-through uh, but in HD the export alpha isn't there and the same with many other sense hence why it's got to be quick time this and then we tick this export alpha and that's literally it make sure the resolution is correct to as you want uh, YouTube is 24 frames per second so that's fine and then we just hit add to render it'll bring it up here so um, it tells you where you, do you want to save it um, this is going to be like a clip I'm going to change the intro outro bits um, from something else so there we are there's my intro and outro uh, that lot might be changed at some point just hit save there it is at the top right render all and just like that it is done now to test that we can go back to the edit tab bring in just any old media so import media let's bring in the the one from earlier the one that we created earlier on and import sorry I should have done it then and we're going to find that clip that we just created there it is so drag that in there and there it is so uh, click cancel on there so what I'm going to do is just drag this clip on top so that is basically this is purely for testing purposes wow well that's right that'll do so when we click here 
drag that across a bit. Help it actually click on it. There we go. So that's going to be the top one. Uh, go back to the edit tab, and I also want to bring in the YouTube subscribe button that we just created. Stick that literally on the top. You're going to hear me speaking, uh, unfortunately, from earlier on. But if we bring it here, see, it comes up. So subscribe. In fact, let's uh, just. Yeah, that should that should have done it. right and so click play subscribe button comes up click bell that bit was a bit slow i should have done it a bit quicker but okay and if you really wanted to you can hit click buttons in and whatnot but this is just purely for me to just have it up there i may edit it add some clips and all that so there we go that is how you uh create a youtube call to uh, subscribe button so it's basically how you create a youtube subscribe button that shows on screen and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up i'm sorry i waffled on a bit i ha i was basically teaching myself as i was doing this video it was something i wanted to do uh for uh future and here it is so uh thank you all for watching uh, sorry about the upload schedule and thank you very much to my patreon uh, subscribers their names now will be coming up on the screen now i believe it's still only uh one person at the moment so thank you very much um if you want to uh help me out on patreon links are in description and same with amazon affiliate links there'll be amazon affiliate links there for whatever if you uh, shop on Amazon using any of my links, you can buy any product. It will help the channel out big time, and I do appreciate it. I don't normally do call outs like that, but as is in my head, I thought I'd uh, say thank you. So there we go. Uh, I'm waffling on about. So ciao for now, everyone, and I'll catch you all in the next video.